Hey guys, Mizuki here from Common Arms Center. Just going to be doing a little uh, gun review on the MSR sniper rifle. Um, it's I know I could give you all the numbers for the stats and stuff, which are as followed if you're interested. The uh, stats are 100 damage, 50 portability, 16 fire rate, accuracy 98, and recoil 55. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll understand that these numbers really mean nothing whatsoever to you. So, basically, I'm going to say it's one-hit kill, uh, built-in uh, silencer. It, oh, that's my phone. It virtually makes no noise like when it shoots, so I don't know if that's... If, it's kind of... Its fire rate is, is about average. Um, even and maybe even a little faster. Its reload time is awesome. It's incredible. It's just it reloads so much faster than uh, any other sniper rifle that I use. So, anyways, let's uh, let's get into some gameplay here with it. All right. So what you're gonna notice in this gameplay is the kills do start off rather lame, as I wasn't quite used to using this gun yet. So uh, you gotta yeah. <laughs> I had to take a little bit of time to get used to it, as I was just used to using my arctic wolves um some specs about this gun are that it has five out of 35 shots in a clip which is really really good for the amount of accuracy it has in this snow valley game i'm kind of given a variety of hard scoping and quick scoping as there is really the two different those are the two different types of game playing as you notice right here you can see it has quite a huge idle sway for the hard scopers and it, it's it is really hard to kind of focus and be prepared for someone to run around a corner so i would say this gun is a lot more for you know rushing or snipers only gameplay it, it, it would make a lot more sense to use something like this but though it does have very high accuracy at two points off of 100 so it is it's not i it's i wouldn't say it's useless for hard scoping because definitely you can see here it's it does it well um and um yeah so all in all i like this gun a little its reload rate is rather fast uh, it's about two seconds and um really it's this gun is it's it's good all around maybe the hard scoping uh or the tactical plane i guess is what the proper word would be called for it is it is a little hard to use for that type of uh, gameplay but you know i got used to it rather quickly and i managed to uh deal with it so i'm sure most of you can too uh, in comparison to like an arctic wolf or something like that i would say i like the arctic wolf better maybe because i've just used the arctic wolf my entire life and i still don't even have a perm i just keep rebuying for 90 days i don't know why but um this gun is really um about as it's as good for flash scoping as uh, the Arctic Wolf, I find. Like, I I found that I was really accurate with it. I hit most of my shots. Like, <laughs> as if you've ever played with me in Sniper's Only game, I'm, I don't do too well usually. But this gun, this gun, this is my first one-man army game with it after playing that oil rig and the Snow Valley game. I only played three games with this gun. And, um, yeah, it's, I like the accuracy on it. It definitely, it definitely uh, makes up for it for the quick scoping and, um, Really, that scope sway is. I guess that that would be the only issue I could point out with the this gun whatsoever is simply that the the MSR is it just the scope sway is too hard to kind of focus to be able to be prepared for someone to jump around that corner if you're in a clan war or something. It's just it's not the gun you would want to use. So with all that said, this gun is really good. It it looks good too if that if that's what you're into. Um, I know something I always find when I use like the TRG, I like the sound it makes. This gun literally just makes like a pop sound. <laughs> so there's not much of that. Uh, obviously the sound isn't a big deal, but I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of cool to hear like when the TRG goes off because it's such a badass gun. So other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this weapon re uh, review. I will probably do some more in the future. I just figured I hadn't seen a lot on this gun in common arms. So decided to throw one out there. So anyways guys, uh, this has been Mizuki with the Gun Reviews. Subscribe to my personal channel, which will be found in the description. Alright, peace out.